Hi boys and girls. I hope everyone is having a great summer. It's nice to be back on reading you a story. Tonight, for tonight's story, I'm going to be reading a Mercer Mayer book. So if you remember, we've read some of the Mercer Mayer. Um, it's the Little Monster series. So Mercer Mayer has a bunch of the Little Monster books. Um, so this is called The Little Monster's Private Eye and it's called The Lost Wish. And if you remember correctly, Little Monster often has a very, very good um, imagination. So oftentimes he imagines things to be true. So that's gonna be important with this story, The Lost Wish. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Little Monster, Private Eye. This is my trusty assistant, Detective Kerplop, her ploppus. Together we do our best to keep law and order in Monsterville. So there he has the outfit that goes along with it. One morning my best friend Jerry, do you hear Clancy? Now he has not barked all afternoon and now he thinks he needs to come out because I am live reading to all of you so hang on a minute. Oh my goodness. being sassy. You need to come out. Boy, oh boy. Okay, now let's try that again. One morning, my best friend, Jerry Bobantant, came to our office with his little brother, Larry. They had a case for us to solve. Larry had lost his lucky green coin. <clears throat> little monster, it's time for lunch, called my mother. Care to join me, I said. We can discuss the case over lunch. All right, so take a look, and we can see how they're all discussing it, and see there's tears probably because they had lost the coin, so they're very concerned, right? And then there's the mom monster saying it's time for lunch. So he's decided that they're gonna watch and try to solve the case over lunch. Larry stopped crying long enough to eat three peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Ooh. When did you lose your lucky green coin? I asked him. This morning at the fountain when I went to make my birthday wish, Larry said. To the fountain, I said, on the double. So if they're gonna head to the fountain, I wonder what they're going to do there. Maybe investigate where things might be. Detective Kerplapis and I hopped into the private eye mobile and sped toward the fountain. Jerry and Larry followed close behind. Okay, so take a look what's going on. All of the neighbors are noticing, and there's some speech bubbles in here. It says, looks like Little Monster Private Eye is on a case. And then here, is that a parade? And then here, you shouldn't play in the road. Okay, so interesting, all the neighbors. Detective Kerplapas and I inspected the scene of the crime. No green coins here, said Detective Kerplapis. Then I questioned Larry. When you left the house this morning, how many coins did you have? I asked. Three, said Larry. How many coins do you have now? I asked. One, said Larry. He pulled it out of his pocket. There was not a spot of green on it. We'll call this coin number one, I said. So notice how he's really acting like a detective and trying to solve this case. What did you do with the other two coins, I asked. I traded one for a marble with my friend Sam, said Larry. We all headed for the basketball court where Sam was warming up for the big game. Little monster private eye here, I said. Detective Kerplapis and I would like to see the coin Larry traded with you. All right, so take a look. They're gonna ask all about the coin. They're gonna ask this fellow who's warming up. Actually, it's not a fellow. Sam slam dunked the ball. It was a fair trade, she said. Then she pulled the coin out of her pocket. There wasn't a spot of green on coin number two either. That means that coin number three must be Larry's lucky green coin, I said. I asked Larry what he had done with coin number three. I bought a piece of banana bubble gum at Mr. Wizzle's candy factory, said Larry. Next stop, Mr. Wizzle's, I said. So there she is doing her slam dunk. And then there we go. 
and they're kind of trying to solve this mystery in an orderly way. All was quiet at the candy factory. Can I help you, asked Mr. Whizzle. I nodded. Larry bought a piece of banana bubble gum from you this morning, I said, and he paid for it with a very special green coin. So take a look at the pictures. Mr. Whistle opened the cash register. Detective Kerplapis and I examined all the coins. We were stumped. The lucky green coin wasn't there. Suddenly, I had an idea. I asked Mr. Whistle, Mr. Whistle about how many customers he had after Larry had bought the bubble gum. Only one, said Mr. Whistle. Mrs. Yalapis, Yalapapis. She bought a pound of jelly beans and I gave her some coins for change. Aha, I said to Yalapapis Manor, Manor Pronto. This is a tongue twister of a book, my goodness. So do you see how the detective keeps going through each of the things that could be happening? I told Mrs. Yalapapis we were looking for a lucky green coin we believe she might have gotten as change from Mr. Whizzle that morning. I keep all my coins in a jar, she said. Follow me. Guess what we found in the jar? Coin number three, Larry's lucky green coin. Now I can make my birthday wish, shouted Larry. Hooray! Detective Kerplapis and I went with Jerry and Larry to the fountain. We watched Larry throw in his lucky green coin and make his birthday wish. Later that afternoon, Detective Kerplapis and I went to Larry's birthday party. We got there right before Grandpa Bob Bannett. Grandpa, yelled Larry, you're here. My birthday wish came true. Detective Kerplapis and I had cookies and cake to celebrate. And so ended what we came to call the case of the lost wish. And that was the end of Mercer Mayer's Little Monster Private Eye, The Lost Wish. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanna take a minute to shout out to the friends who are watching live. So it looks like we have Aiden with us. We have Bailey and we have Sincere and maybe even Kenny. I'm not sure if he's watching with Sincere. And then we, it looks like we have Jason. So hi everybody. Thank you for watching live with us. I hope you enjoyed our story. And I will see you next Monday for a read aloud. I'm reading aloud every Monday now. I hope you're enjoying them. Take care. I miss you all. Have fun this summer. Bye-bye. <laughs>